name again? His name is Tyrell. Tyrell? Mm-hmm. Mom, does he know I'm really, really smart or does he not? Um, I don't think he knows. Why? When ever since I tell him I'm really good. What do you mean? Tyrell. What about? Like, if I tell him I'm really good, he will trust us, I think. Um, it's not about that. Sometimes adults, even though they're big people, like even though they're adults, they don't um, do the right thing all the time. And so some dads don't do the right thing, and some moms don't do the right thing. But what you say? Sounds like a bunch of excuses to me. <sighs> this one is hard to watch and listen to. This young man is very innocent sounding he's just asking innocent questions and in my opinion his good mama is lying to him in my opinion she hesitated and when she gave the name so i don't even believe that that's his name you hear the young man asking about whether he has a father he looks to be seven eight and he doesn't think that he has a father at this age if he's out there playing baseball, he must see other men out there, other kids with their fathers, which is probably the reason why he even asked the daggone question. And you won't even give him the straightaway answer. Not that he probably is old enough to hear it. You're making excuses, of course. And of course, you don't see where it is that he is reaching out and asking because he needs his daggone father. This is a small look into probably what it is that's happening with so many young men. And then when they look for, he's looking for his father right here. He's looking for a male figure right here. So then this is how they end up in the street because the J, J and G's. Yeah. Those people are ready, ready and willing to retrieve them, receive them and have them doing things that they got no business doing. Shout out to baby K and the young man in Baltimore. Because we already know from all the news reports that they didn't have any male figures in their lives. And now you got all these women out here acting like they don't need them. And they do. Because you all can't handle them. Because then you'll be the mother who says, what well, can I do? We live in West Baltimore. Like that makes sense on any type of daggone level. No reason. No reason in the world why these gremlins are out here gremlinizing. Yeah, you know, it's the daddy fault. Even though he ain't nowhere to be found. Why is it that for all these women that don't particularly care for men, black men in particular, how y'all be ending up pregnant? I'm confused. What, what are we missing? You don't like men. You can't stand men. You don't need men. They ain't ish. They don't do this. They don't do that. They ain't got this. They ain't got that. Blah, 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 blah. Then you end up pregnant somehow. Is it all immaculate conceptions? All these babies are immaculate conceptions. Can't get a person to marry you. Blame him. Can't get a committed relationship, blame him. Never want to look in the mirror. Never want to see what it is that you're doing. Never want to see the way that you're acting. Never want to see what it is that you're not bringing to the table. Never want to check your own attitude. Never want to t check your demeanor. None of that. Always blame, 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 blame. I'm telling y'all, I really want y'all to send me any video where there is a woman out here who is admitting what it is that she didn't do, how she did it wrong, and why it ended up this way. This little boy right here is crying out for doggone help and she don't give a damn. She lying. I don't believe that daddy's name is Tyrell. She just made that mess up. His name is Jakai. I think she said Jakai. Jirai. Something like that. Probably a combination of her name and his name. That's usually how that works. In the community, they uh, make put the names together. They put the names together. His name is Jakar or something like that. Now she wants to sit up here talking about sometimes the mommies and daddy, sometimes the mother, sometimes the daddy. No. 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 Find his damn father. Call him up and say, come and see your son or I will bring him to you or let's figure this out. That would be the mature thing to do. When's anyone going to be mature enough to accept the fact that your children specifically, both, both for sure, for sure. But specifically, your sons need their daggone fathers because you women are not men, regardless of what you think, regardless of how you feel, regardless of how it looks, regardless of what your friends and your family tell you. You're not a man. You're never going to be a man. I don't care what none of y'all say. You can't raise a man to be a man. You're not a man. Why is that so hard to accept? 
Why is that such an issue for you, biatches? Why is it that you just can't go ahead? If the person was good enough for you to open your everything up to and take all that pleasure, why don't the kid get the opportunity and the chance to know and be with his own father? Jakai and anybody else. Y'all just out here making decisions for kids like you know what's going on, like you got some grand insight or something. You didn't make him separately. You could, Then you need to share the responsibility together. I know. He left. He's no good. He left. He's no good. Then that means you no good. Yep. I'm going to keep blaming y'all. Yep. 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 Let me not act like there ain't no bums out here because it absolutely is. But no, it's you biatches because women determine and decide whether they have sex or not. Outside of SAM grape, all the time, every time, pure point blank. Miss me with any excuses. We not trying to hear that. Y'all just be out here making these daggone excuses because you don't want to accept responsibility. Then you got this life that sucks. Then your kid ends up on the streets at 1 a.m. in the morning in a stolen car looking to steal more cars. Then you got poor Mr. Lewis in jail because he's just trying to protect his property. So you put the rest of us in jeopardy because you don't know what you're doing. Because you don't want to deal with this man that you went and had a kid with. You went and had a kid with him and then you don't even want the result of that interaction to be a part of that person's life. Does that even sound right when you say it out loud? And y'all be standing firm on something like this, on something so dumb, on something that don't make no damn sense. Don't be mad because you ain't had no father. Don't be mad because your mama didn't uh, marry your father. Don't be mad because your mama did. Can you ever take a look at what your mothers did to you and say, no, I don't want that for my own kids? Do y'all ever do that type of self-reflection? Especially if your mom is, if you know your mama's effed you up. Especially if you know your mama's effed you up. Oh, because your mother said that your father did something wrong, you just take her word for it. Did you ever go reach out to your damn father and ask him? Talk to him? Figure it out? Ask somebody else besides her? You think she's going to sit up here and try to look bad in front of you? Of course not. She lying just like you lying. It's a bunch of lying biatches. When people going to stop lying and start telling the truth? That's what I want to know. Because until that happens, the rest of this don't even matter. We're going to keep seeing the same thing over and over again. They're going to be out here doing whatever they want because they're looking for something on the outside of the daggone house because you ain't providing it. Just like the lady who got the daggone son, she told couldn't go out of the house. Then he had to do what he had to do. And when he knocked her ass out, I'm pretty sure she ain't appreciate that. You talk to that daggone little boy like he was your daggone husband. So y'all can't get husbands. So you're just going to go ahead and use your sons and then you're going to ruin them. And then you put the rest of the world in detriment. And then we supposed to care. We supposed to have empathy and sympathy. We don't. Shouts out to those babies, though. Good luck to them being raised by you witches. And hopefully they figure it out sooner or later and they can get some sort of help for their future. Because this is this is just absolutely out of control and ridiculous. And I'm tired of pretending that they ain't no problem. There's more important things and the going on in the community than freaking white supremacy, racism, and discrimination. And don't say that all this stuff is because of the results of those things. No, it's a result of selfish biatches who is out here effing any old body. Shout out to Quantavius. And then don't even want to sit up here and have the result of that union to be uh, a part of the daggone man's life that you opened yourself up to. Half damn crazy. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.